Tone, you said some fiery words at the uh, start of that press conference. Um, <laughs> are you ready for this fight? Yeah, I can't wait. Roberto Balanzi is a good name. He's WBC number five. And, you know, I'm itching to go now. I really am. It's, it's a good fight. It's a good name. And, uh, you know, we're going to see an explosive performance on Saturday night. I really do believe that. And you've been preparing with Frotch, been sparring with him. Uh, how's that gone? Oh, it's great listen to be involved with a triple world champion, a British icon and legend. It's, it's fantastic to do it. So I'm happy. My sparring's varied across over to the other side of the Atlantic too into America. So it's been good, mate. I'm happy with where I'm at. I'm happy with where I'm going. And uh, I can't wait now for the Saturday night. You've got a little bit of a reputation of being an outspoken uh, personality. Yeah, um, yeah the, the last time you were dragged into something uh, was by Mr Fury and that wasn't his fault this time. Uh, do you mind telling us what happened? Uh, no, listen, he's come out with a, with a bit of slander and he's uh, slated my name a little bit. But at the end of the day, I'm not that really bothered. It's laughable, really. It's a joke. He's acting like a four-year-old kid. And uh, you know what? To be the, the total blunt, honest truth is, he gave up his titles rather than fight my mate. You vacated two belts instead of fight David Price. It's as simple as that. Uh, well, uh, we'll move on from that one then. And uh, I hear you also went out to America to do a bit of sparring in preparation for this fight. Yeah, it was great. Listen, going to America was an eye-opener. Uh, doing jobs on people and sparring over there was good. It gets my name out there. People know I am in America now. And uh, I look forward to going back soon. Tavoris Cloud, Chad Dawson, Bernard Hopkins, all American as well. Would a fight over there with one of them be uh, something you'd like to look towards? Yeah, it's appealing, but I'd prefer to get them over here, to be honest. And I think we'd sell more tickets over here than we would over in the States. I think I'm a very unknown quantity in the States, where there's them names are known over here a little bit more. Maybe not so much as in Tavoris Club, but Dawson and Hopkins are known over here. So, you know, it's possible if we can get them over here, then that'd be great. I'm all about becoming a mandatory challenger, and that's all I want to do. And uh, talking about fighting over here, you've always said that uh, fighting at Goodison Park is a dream for you. Um, your team's doing quite well at the moment. That must be giving you a lift ahead of the fight as well. Yeah, team's flying and made up. I've got a season ticket 11. I'm there every game. It's great, mate. It's really buzzing to see the club doing so well. And uh, as for fighting there, it'd be a dream come true. You know, that's the ultimate goal. That's, that's you know, that's the uh, the final hurdle for me. And if I fight there, mate, I've cracked it. And, uh, and uh, I hear there's an American, you've got an American connection as well. Um, uh, did you mind explaining this for the fans? Yeah, my granddad's an American. Uh, I've got that many different things in me. Maybe my mum's black, my dad's white. Uh, my grandfather's American. I've got Irish and Spanish somewhere, so I'm just like a big mixed meat fried rice meat. There's a little bit of everything in there with me, to be honest. So I'm confused, I don't know what I am. Well, the best of luck. <laughs>